Hi everyone, thank you for joining me here at Dahlia Society. Today I want to catch up with you guys and let you know what I've been making. I've also got to draw this prize from a YouTube random draw. And before I get started, I have to apologize and let you know that unfortunately, uh, my comments on that episode were subject to a bot scam. Of course, over on YouTube, as soon as there is a giveaway anywhere in the title, these horrible random bots go around and searching and they've told every single commenter that they'd won. And there was, I think, a link to go to Telegram and post. And they used my pick as well. They tend to go on and use the YouTuber's own photo so it can look very convincing. But of course, it was a scam. So I had to reply to a lot of you guys who had thought you'd won. Um, so I must let you know in future when I do a giveaway like that, I will always be drawing the prize here on screen with a random generator so you can see kind of like a, a live random draw. I will never just comment like that without putting it out there first on my channel. So if you do get one of those messages, uh, I will always um, put on there a contact from myself, which will be Kristen at the Daily Society .au. There will be no links to things like Instagram or um, things like Telegram ever. So I have to apologize for that. I know a lot of YouTubers recently in the last week or so have had the same thing happen. And of course, they go and search the internet and yeah, they will scam just about everyone. So I have to apologize to all of you for that. Unfortunately, that's just part of being online and you do uh, tend to get time to time um, things like bots and scam um, kind of things telling people to go and follow links. So make sure you always look out for my prize draw videos uh, first and then after that I will make contact and it's always via email. Okay, so just so you all know, so I'll be drawing that a little bit later in this episode. Um, what I've been making, of course, I've got a heap of plans. I showed you guys all of my A0 plans that I actually, uh, patterns that I had printed out. So there was heaps on uh, on the calendar to make up there, but I wanted a couple of nice, simple things to make. And I decided to go ahead and make a, a top just from cotton jersey here from Spotlight. Um, fabrics I had in my stash for a little while, and I wanted to make a simple little kind of crop style top to wear under my um, grab a cup of cardigan, which I have by my side as a faithful friend. <laughs> These, this pattern is just my favorite one from the whole of winter. Uh, I think when Kate bought it out, I just thought, oh yeah, that, that's a great cardi pattern. I love her reconnect one as well, but I didn't realize just how valuable valuable it would be to be carrying around the house with me uh, and I've, yeah, I've made that one in that cloud fleece which is sold out but this one I made a besties tee which is a, just a very simple pattern from Pattern Emporium a couple of years ago now and I did it in the v-neck and I also did it in the long sleeve and the kind of mid crop length so it's a regular crop length I think uh, there's three or four different lengths and of course you can do square necks v-necks round necks crew necks there's a whole variety of necks you can do so it's a really good basic pattern to have to wear underneath uh, the grab a cover cardigan because I've, I've had heaps of cardigans uh, and not enough tops and I find the cotton jersey is quite uh, warm enough to layer I also love merino for underneath things and I did pick up a little bit of merino online quite some time ago now. I picked up a bit of red and grey and I want to make a couple more of these for those sort of layering things. Although I really love a high neck like a mock turtleneck I find I just I love the look of them and I want to put them on I don't feel comfortable I need a bit of room around my neck a bit of skin showing so it's one of those things where you love the look and the aesthetic of it but when you go to wear them I find they're not the most practical things so I prefer either a V or a round uh, neck just to wear layering so yeah this one's come up really nice I'll put some pics in so you can see um, but really versatile that one you can make a dress version out like a t-shirt dress as well it's kind of a flared t-shirt so it's not um body sort of hugging it is more fitted around the bust and then flares out with the hips so I really like that especially with a cropped version if you have some kind of um, pleated uh, pants or jeans that are kind of like high-waisted baggy jeans I like this style for that so that is the besties tea from Pattern Emporium um, you'll see in the background I've also been sewing up a storm here I've made another grab a cup of cardi out of the cuddle knit from my online store that's the caramel color but I've done a hack on that. I'll put some pics up 
to show you guys as well. I actually left the hem band off the bottom. I extended the length by about 20 centimeters and I left the cuffs off the arm. So I've made it more of a kind of a robe style throw over cardigan, but I also added in a side split on each side and that's really easy to do. It's just a matter of um, putting a little nick either side of the side seams and how far up you want your split to be. And when you're um, surging your inner seams, you stop at that point. And then you, I used a twin needle stitch to edge around all the bottoms of my hem, just that nice sort of mitered hem. And it came out really, really nice. You just have to make sure that when you're doing the front uh, hem band pieces that you sort of fold them up reverse, stitch them over and flip them inside out. And I'll give you that nice mitered kind of corner. But it's really, I really love having a different look. And I reckon that would be awesome in like a dressing gown style. If you had a wrap wrapped right around with a tie, really easy to do as well um, and I really love that um, caramel color is a good basic color for the wardrobe as well so that's still available in the online store another thing I made uh, just this week now of, of course this pattern's been around for quite some time this is from the lovely Jane from the dressmakers at closet over in the UK, Jane uh, has been a friend of mine for a while on uh, YouTube. We started our channels, I think, at a similar time. And she's branched out into pattern designing, which I think is just wonderful. So she has quite a few patterns out. I think she's got a new pattern out as well. Um, but this was the Ava blouse, and it's either a pussy bow style or a bow tie style. You can do different arm lengths. You can do puff short. You can do long. Um, and it's got darts just at the front to give you a bit of shaping. Nice, simple, easy make. You'll have it done in no time. I've decided to go for the pussy bow style. Uh, with the sleeves, I actually made them as usual and always have sleeves too long. So I decided to put elastic in the casing around the cuffs so it could bring bring that sort of um, sleeve in a bit. Then you can pull it up as well if you want to have that blousy sort of effect, um, that bishopy style sleeve, but if you, if you find they get a bit in the way, you can pull them up easily. So I always, I always end up doing an elastic um, hack on most of my blouses, but I love how that's come up and I've used the walk on the wild side um, crepe de chine from my online store. There's only a tiny bit left of that. I've had that cut out for probably a couple of months now and I really love that shoe print when I first saw that fabric I just thought that is just a standout print uh, love the fact with a little bit of leopard print in there you can tie it back with maybe a nice pair of black um, pleated pants as well so a really easy simple blouse if you're looking for a blouse for work or something just to wear over a pair of jeans the Ava blouse is a winner because of the simplicity and as I said, with the different versions um, of the neckties, if you didn't want that pussy bow style, you wanted just a tie, she gives you great instructions. The instructions were fantastic. There's a lot of photographs used. She's given you great step-by-step -step, uh, walk through, hold your hand style instructions. So you really can't go wrong. But I have to um, say a big congrats to Jane from the Dressmakers Closet on a fantastic pattern. Sizes 6 to 22. Uh, I made the size 14 and it, it's um, it's great. Fits really well. Uh, it's not a hugely oversized blouse. So if you're looking for something more uh, voluminous, um, that probably I would check your finished garment measurements on that. But I want something a little bit more of a neat style so I could tuck it into some pants if I wanted to wear some dressier style pants with it. But with that fabric, I, I just love how it's come up. And anything, um, she's really given options like you know, things like your rounds, viscoses, crepes, chiffons. Uh, she's even used cottons and cotton lawns, which work really well. And I think you'd even do it with a nice linen. Um, but anything with more of a drapey feel to it would give a more of a soft, billowy look. Uh, of course, cotton lawn or something like a poplin will give it a more of a structured look. But it really depends on what kind of style you're going for. But I really am happy with how that's come up. So I'll put some pics in so you can see how that one turned out. Doing a little bit of looking around at some fabric shopping for my store the other day, I did find some fabric that I really, really loved. I only had got a little bit of it, but I would love to see this in the store because I think a lot of you guys would be interested. Now, this is actually a cotton uh, linen Lurex blend, and I love the gold fleck through it. 
Uh, I'm just finding I'm embracing a bit more of that kind of uh, soft colored Lurexy blends. I think they really add a bit of glitz and glam. Really nice wearing out with a pair of jeans as well if you're wanting to dress up just a tiny bit. Um, I really think that would look nice in that um, top that I saw, the uh, Hey June Sheridan top. Uh, I think it'll look beautiful with that soft kind of uh, higher neck that's a bit cowly and that bishopy sleeve. I really would love to see that done up in a nice dressy style knit top. So I'd be interested to know if you guys would be interested in seeing some kind of Lurexy style knits in the store because it's one of those things that it is really dependent on the individual taste. Uh, a lot of people love that kind of thing. It's like leopard print, you either love it or you hate it. And I personally am really starting to embrace a lot of that. Um, I just think it's really, really pretty, but I love a bit of soft, um, cream colored knits or oatmeal colored knits they really do look great with a pair of jeans and some nice tan boots so that is on my list to make um on friday i'm going to have mum back on we're going to be doing another feature fabric friday so we're going to probably try and do that once a fortnight show you all the new fabrics in the online store i know a lot of you are loving having mum on there with me and we'll go through the, all the new fabrics together so i think that way it's great to sort of showcase and show you everything that's uh, new in the store as well so if you are not interested in looking at the online store episodes that's fine you're quite welcome to go back and look through the catalog of uh, vlogs i have uh, yeah, a couple of years worth if you haven't binged on them all i'm sure you'll find heaps of information there so i understand a lot of you are not interested in that but that is fine i've got a lot of uh a lot of my youtube viewers that are loving having different options for buying fabric online and having it kind of hand selected i think a lot of you love that as well as the buttons which have really taken off uh, I've featured quite a lot of new buttons in the store and a lot of you have been purchasing the buttons to go with the knits. So I try and select things for the store that will complement fabrics that I already have. So things like buttons, I'll try and choose them in, like for example, the Grab a Cup of Cardi. I chose a lot of the buttons in mine that would go back with the cut on knit fabrics and it's really taken off nicely. So we are getting more of the Arrow Mountain buttons in the store as well. They've been really, really popular. Um, so it's great to be showcasing some local makers, some Melbourne makers and homemade uh, that makes the Aromant buttons uh, she does just a wonderful job with some really unique styles there as well um, I want to make this coming week another coat now I have got the Nova coat from paper cut patterns that I am really dying to make uh, I've also got a couple of trench coat style patterns that you may remember from the seam work Baz and the new style like trench as well so it's just a matter of what do I start next. So I may have to start the Nova coat as well. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on what fabric I'm choosing from my store. I've got that pink rose quartz color or the kind of olive color. So let me know what you'd like to make me to make it in because I'd love to hear your input, uh, what you would prefer to see me in the pink or the olive. Um, but I'm really dying to make that Nova coat because it's been a really popular one on all over Instagram for many years now. And a big, huge thank you to a lot of you who went and bought paper cut patterns. The PDF for paper cut support uh, hashtag, uh, please share your makes if you've uh, bought any patterns from the lovely Katie and you've gone on to support her. I would love for you to show those over on Instagram as well. So if you haven't posted the pics, uh, make sure you don't forget to use the hashtag. Let's get down to the draw for the beautiful Dorado Davies Edith dress. Now this will be getting posted to anywhere in the world. I'm going to do a random draw. Um, it is size range 424 UK, that is. Uh, the Edith can be made as a dress, a skirt, and top. Love the pattern. Absolutely love it. The thing that I love about it is the different necklines. You've got a cowl neckline, a beautiful frill neckline as well, or a round faced. These are the line drawings to refresh your memory. Comes with a beautiful booklet. A really lovely packaging as well. I love the way she packages her patterns. It is so nice to be... Um, you know given a gorgeous pattern with that little booklet and the experience level on this one is just a two star so you don't need to be a really experienced or advanced sewer or sewist to be able to make the Edith dress it's a really simple pattern very good instructions as well so without further ado let's get the ball rolling on the random draw so 
Okay, we have got 87 comments. So, so many comments. A lot of you are really, really keen to win this prize. So, let's see who has won and let's roll that dice. Okay, and the winner is Faith Mathingsdale. Congratulations, Faith. You have won the Edith from Throughout Davies Patterns. I will be contacting you via these comments. So if you've watched this today, look out for my email. It's kristen at the dallysociety.au. Um, if you could email me and I will organize this to be posted out to you. And I'm sure you're going to love it because I really enjoyed making mine. It does give you so many different um, things to make. Uh, a beautiful twin set this would make, I think, for um, spring, summer for you guys in the Northern Hemisphere. And for anyone here in Australia, of course, it would be fantastic in something like a twill fabric, um, even a tencel. If you want a bit more warmth, like a viscose twill, it would be beautiful in it too. But definitely for summer, you have got so many options with the Edith dress. So congratulations to Faith. I hope you enjoy this prize and I will get it on my way to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching today. I hope you have enjoyed a little bit more sewing inspo. Don't forget for Frab Fabric Friday, Feature Fabric Friday happening with mum and myself. I'll be having that out Friday evening here in Australia. Um, also coming up in the future episodes, I am very keen to have, um, really keen to have all my daughters on here, but especially the oldest daughter, Phoebe, is a very, very keen and crafty person. She does some beautiful cross stitching. Uh, embroidery and she's taken on a new hobby that is um, building these beautiful little scenes and um, kits uh, that are like little dioramas and, and little uh, house kits. I, ha I can't explain it. You need to see it. Uh, and I've been trying to get her on the channel here to show you guys for ages now. And she's always like, oh, no, no, I don't want to go on YouTube. I'm like, come on, I really need to show the viewers this because if you are uh, really keen on creatively like building things, um, fine kind of skills there. Um, she's actually a uh, an optician, apprentice optician, and she um, is doing her apprenticeship as far as doing the optician course. She does a lot of uh, things like you know cutting down lenses and screwing little screws in, fixing glasses up. Um, so it's really in her nature to be using her hands and to use it in a way to be creative as well is really, really special. So um, I would love to show you what she's made. So that would be coming up hopefully in the next week. I just need to drag her on here and uh, let her show you all the things that she's made. So that is coming up in the future as well. So take care, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't because a lot of you do watch that haven't subscribed. That way you won't be sad on any episodes. And I would also love a thumbs up today if you've enjoyed the content I've shown today. So take care, everyone. Have a wonderful sewing week and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.